Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do a review of Deontay's OnlyFans. So Deontay recently started OnlyFans after he said he kept getting requests to make one. And this is for anyone who's considered purchasing it. I'm going to review it so you can make a better informed decision if you decide you want to go that route. So I bought Deontay's OnlyFans so you don't have to. And we did this with Sarah from Love After Lockup and Lacey a while ago. And when I heard Deontay start OnlyFans, I was like we must continue on this only fan series so i got such a positive response last time when i did this so here we are again i don't ever purchase only fans or anything like that unless it's like some people we know from like love after lockup or 90 day fiance that i can make a review video on so, Deontay's OnlyFans is $5 a month. It says on his profile that he's just uh, trying this out for a brief minute. He actually first originally started it a little less than a week ago, I believe, and then changed his mind and he tried to delete it. And it takes 30 days to delete and he decided to reactivate it yesterday. So, we're going to review things like, I feel like if he gives you your bang for your buck, if it's worth the $5, from a customer standpoint, we're going to review his pictures, like the quality angles and lighting, and all that good stuff. So when you subscribe to his OnlyFans, you get access to one post and 16 different pictures. Um, and you know, usually he just started his profile, and as they have their profile, as time goes on, they add more and more pictures. But starting off with 16 pictures when you just created your profile, that's pretty good, because I see most people only have like five posts their first week, sometimes only one or two. Because when Sarah had her OnlyFans, I think she was charging like $15 a month or, or around that. And she was only had like four or five pictures for the longest. So how do I say this? Let me first off by saying I think Deontay was ready to show off what he was packing on OnlyFans. Because holy cow, that thing's like an anaconda. That thing is so big, that's probably what scared Nicole off. <laughs> Especially when he said he has a high sex drive that he says... He has so his thingy is like super big both ways like long and wide it's crazy it just shocked me because I didn't expect all that but you can tell he takes majority pictures off his phone but they're pretty decent quality and he has pretty good lighting in all his pictures he has some pictures of his reflection in the mirror with nothing on and he has a few with his shirt off and he has quite a bit with absolutely nothing on. He also has a few close up pictures of his banana. And I was actually quite surprised that, to see that Deontay had a six pack too and you can tell in his pictures that he works out quite a bit and his stomach is really toned. He also has like a NWA tattoo on his upper chest and he also has his last name tattooed across his stomach in old English font and he also has a tattoo on the other side of his upper chest um, opposite of the NWA tattoo that says public enemy. Um, I couldn't tell if it said public enemy number one or just public enemy because his arm was covering up part of his tattoo. He also had a few pictures of him showing off a tent in his pants. And that kind of reminded me of the scene when he was standing behind Nicole in the last episode. After she got out of prison and he was saying, down boy, down boy, and was telling Nicole that she woke him up. Most of Deontay's pictures are taken in his bathroom. And about three fourths of the pictures on his profile show his full body with nothing on. So at first, I wasn't sure what to expect because we see a lot of people join OnlyFans that are on different shows. And like a lot of people have got a lot of backlash because they'll turn around and have like pictures and lingerie and swimsuits on their Instagram. Then turn around and upload the same pictures on OnlyFans. Like this one TikToker said she made over a million dollars her first week in OnlyFans just by uploading the pictures she had on Instagram. So I wasn't sure what to expect. I thought maybe some shirtless pictures. Or some teaser pictures since he's just new to this and just warming up. But he he gave everybody the whole OnlyFans experience. You get to see everything. And let's get to the nitty gritty. For five dollars a month, you get 17 pictures total. And like I said, over three fourths of them show 100% of his body with nothing on. So if you're someone who's into Deontay or into BBC, if you know what that means, then this might be for you. Um, all his pictures are pretty decent quality. I can't complain about the lighting or anything. But there's no holding back. 
when it comes to him showing himself on his OnlyFans, there's no videos or anything. But for five dollars a month, I feel like you get your money's worth out of this. You get everything that you're looking for if you're into stuff like that. Deontay was also on World Star recently, and he actually shouted me out in his Instagram story. He said, "My butt roasted in every way possible. Check out some of my favorite YouTube channels: Jay Lee's Corner, Bondi Blue, Reality Squad, The Celeb Talk Guy, Sherelle's World, Ashley Miller." Uh, Nikki, Nicole Starr, and according to Amber One, giving you the real tea, dude is hilarious, I'm, and last but not least, my most favorite of all, Auntie's Advice, I love Auntie, please check them out, I love Auntie too, she cracks me up, and so I posted, hey Deontay from Love After Lockup, shout me out in his story, glad to see how light hearted he is about everything, because we're just having fun, unlike a lot of other cast members who get their panties in a bunch. And he said, ha ha, I love it. Oh, you'll see how Nicole Jr. is doing. Trust me, just keep watching because I asked him, I wonder how Nicole Jr. is doing. So it is nice to see that he's not so sensitive and knows that we're just having fun. This is just all entertainment because some cast members really get their panties in a bunch, like I said, and get offended. And so, Deontay, I also reached out to Deontay because he has been my most requested interview of the cast members from this season. And he told me he'll, he's going to check into it. He has to talk to the producers of Wade TV. But it sounds like this is something that might actually be able to happen. So, hopefully it does. I'm looking forward to it if it does. And if you guys have any questions for Deontay, please leave them in the comments below. Because if this interview does happen, I'll be sure to ask him all your guys' questions. Also, if you guys haven't checked out my video already about spoiler, did Nicole and Deontay end up getting married? And there is quite a spoiler in that video if you haven't seen it already. And I talk about what ends up happening with them and some pictures I got a hold of of Nicole. And you're not going to believe it if you haven't seen it already. So make sure you check out that video if you haven't already. I'll link it below. And thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you turn on the bell notification so you don't miss it when I drop another video.